Let's take the discussion on the power sector forward with uh, Sumit Kishore uh, joining us now, Executive Director in Social Equity at Access Capital. Sumit, you, you've come out with a very interesting note which focus on the storage part of the utility space. Now, uh, as we understand that the industrial scale storage was not really picking up, it was still an issue for the power space. So that's why they were deliberately keeping a, you know, production versus usage gap because you can't store that scale of power. Now, yes. with technology coming in and new tenders coming in, this this is a new area in the utility space. Which are the companies? Talk to us about this size of the opportunity here and which category of company that, you know, uh, likely to uh, be the beneficiaries? Sure. Uh, good afternoon and thanks for having me on your show. Uh, the price bids for standalone battery energy storage systems have become one third of what they were till about four months back. Uh, so we were taught in college about two decades back that electricity can't be stored at utility scale, but that has changed. And price bids for a 250 megawatt, 500 megawatt hour uh, standalone BESS project uh, fell by almost 58% in March this year as compared to August 22 levels. And they fell by another 17% since March uh, earlier this month in a price discovery to uh, uh, GUBNL or Gujarat Urja Vikas Nigam Limited uh, BESS tender. So this in indicates that the cost of storing electricity at utility scale is now falling below 4 rupees per unit uh, uh, after adjusting for the round trip efficiency of battery storage, which is around 85%. So I think this is a watershed moment in the sector, one that is likely to evolve and has a very uh, strong uh, positive connotations for the pace of clean energy transition going forward. Kind of com companies which tend to gain from this? Yeah, so I think uh, uh, A, for green companies or green IPPs, which are setting up uh, wind and uh, solar capacity, the challenge really has been the intermittency of uh, green power, because you can't get this green power on a 24 cross 7 basis. But if you combine uh, 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 hybrid wind solar solutions with the battery energy storage system, uh, today you can uh, get to load following green power, uh, which is fast converging with the prices of uh, you know, a greenfield coal-based power plant. So I think from a company perspective, we, we think that uh, strong power demand growth in the country uh, uh, affords a long runway of growth for green capacity addition over the medium term and uh, even gray capacities over the next few years. We are constructive on NTPC, JSW Energy, uh, Tata Power and CSC among listed IPPs. Uh, you know, um, Sumit, what we also want to understand, you know, when you talk about uh, what is also spoken by just a few months back, I'm reading it in your note only itself, sure. uh, that um, RK Singh had actually spoken about in terms of the pricing that was there. And they said that if those uh, prices actually go, when he was talking about those per kilowatt uh, has come down to rupees four below that, then they would stop adding coal-based capacity, right? So what does that mean for the power industry and what does that mean specifically for these coal-based companies? Anything that could negatively impact them there now? Sure. I think the proof of the pudding would be only when these uh, projects, uh, which are firm dispatchable renewable energy projects, including hybrid wind solar plus storage, get operational. So maybe that is still about uh, two years away. But uh, what we are seeing is as the technology evolves from, say, two hour single cycle battery storage to four, five hours, uh, there would be a debate uh, which would open up uh, that uh, FDRE or firm dispatchable renewable power rates can start converging with the prices of a greenfield thermal power plant to meet a similar uh, uh, anti solar load curve and eventually uh, the variable cost of coal based power plants whether that is going to happen you know in 2 years or 5 years but i think it is inevitable so from a long term perspective this is negative for equipment suppliers for coal based uh, power plants and uh, it is a big thumbs up to the 
a uh, whole value chain for re manufacturing including battery storage uh, and uh, uh, the developers of green power yes, sir. do indian traditional battery companies which are also diversifying away from auto battery alone to industrial battery storage uh, lithium ion data center batteries all of that you know uh, their the their entire transformation is actually happening they also yeah. uh, tend to have a kind of opportunity here no definitely but uh, i think one needs to be cognizant of the fact that uh, uh, basically the uh, lithium prices are falling quite sharply they've had a, a 15% kegger of decline over the last decade or so but uh, uh, this year alone uh, leading chinese uh, battery manufacturers are proposing a 50% decline in uh, battery costs through 2024 which is driving the reduction in bids by um, local uh, players on battery energy storage system projects so uh, uh, there are chinese companies which are at the forefront of uh, the technology curve right now and um, um, you know uh, indian companies still have to play catch up uh, in terms of uh, 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 providing alternative solutions at similar scale so uh, uh, i think uh, uh, th there is there are companies of uh, conglomerates within the say the tata group which are uh, exploring this along with other players but uh, we still need to see uh, the make in india versus import from china argument play out uh, in this sector so there might uh, there is already a pli scheme uh, supporting uh, battery uh manufacturing in india but we need to see how that evolves in the coming times joining in with us this afternoon on et now and giving us an insight in terms of what's happening in uh, the storage world the battery storage world as well as the power side thank you so much for that Bye. if you like this video then like share and subscribe to et now